Well, let's talk about the title of this video. I am bringing this bike back to the shop on, well, this week, Friday of this week, and they could have the bike for months. Uh, it is still burning oil. Uh, I took it back to the shop yesterday just to have them confirm that it's burning oil, and, and I have an appointment to drop it back off to start the warranty process. They uh, will likely need to do a compression test and go from there. So it could be a months long process between you know getting the proper write-ups for the warranty and getting everything covered and then actually doing the work and getting the parts. And uh, so that all starts this upcoming week and it's prime time for riding which is a disaster i'm super unhappy about the timing of all of this the 911 drop top cruising around in 70 degree weather with the top up i mean guy come on top down heat on that's a vibe but you know in the meantime the car is still looking good so it looks like i won't have this bike for the majority of the summer which uh is to say the least, a bummer of maximum proportion. So, I'm trying to figure out what to do in this scenario. And there are a couple options that I'm toying with now. The responsible option is to get this motorcycle fixed and when it's fixed, right, maybe trade it in and get something new. Okay, cool. So I don't want to trade it in before it gets fixed because that's bad motorcycle karma. Uh, but I will trade it in once the warranty work is done and just move on to something else. I'm thinking maybe a Triumph Street Triple or Speed Triple. Uh, TBD on that. Oh, the road's wet and muddy. Lands oh, landslide action. You know, the second option is that I pick up another bike like next week or while... Uh, while this bike is being fixed and then when it's fixed I have either two bikes or I, you know, I, I sell this bike and, and put that money on the loan uh, or something like that. Option three obviously is to get the bike fixed and keep riding it and that'll be that uh, which is you know totally cool but whether I keep this bike or just wait until it's fixed and then trade it in that leaves me with this period of time where I don't have a bike to ride and or, or content to make uh, on the bike anyway. So the question that I'm that I'm asking and that I need to sit down, find a quiet space and meditate on and wait for the content gods to speak to me uh, is what kind of content do I make while I'm bikeless? You know, so a couple options for content while this bike is in the shop or obviously motorcycle reviews and I'm thinking about doing more design work, motorcycle design work and redesigns and just original concept designs and showing more of the industrial design process that I go through and it's an opportunity to develop that skill set uh, which you know for me is personally valuable and hopefully uh, enjoyable for you to watch if you're interested in that so anyway this is the last time you'll see me on this bike for some undetermined period of time if you have any ideas for new bikes like hey you should get an X Y or Z Leave a comment, I'd love to hear what you'd like to see more of on the channel as far as a new bike goes. And I hope you've been well. I mean, really, I hope your summer has been off to a good start. And I hope you're in good spirits. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.